So guys, hope you're having a good week. Um, I guess we're gonna be having an unobtainium shave today. Didn't really plan it. But um, so we're gonna use today is Fenchurch by Australian Private Reserve. I've had, been had this sitting in my den for like weeks. Haven't used it yet, so I figured I'd use it. Oh, man, this is like uh, my favorite Australian Private Reserve scent. Now, I've only tried four, and I think I haven't lathered one of them, so that could change, but I'm really enjoying this. So I'm gonna follow up with the Paladin Fantasia Colored Samurai. Um, very cool brush. Um, and let's just get right into it. Oh, actually, let me, yeah, you know what, let me, I was gonna use pre-shave, but we can use that later. We'll do like a 30 second load. Interesting tub here. It's 4.5 ounces, I believe. Um, it's not as wide, so it's not as easy to load, but uh, not the end of the world. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, so this is in his V2 base. Um, Dan is the perfumer that's responsible for this. He lives in Australia, which I think probably what has to do with the pricing because it's 4.5 ounces, it's like $27. And then the splash is like $32. So it's kind of pricey, but if you keep in, keep in uh, consideration that it's coming from Australia, importing, um, you know, that's kind of expected. So makes more sense. Uh, today we're gonna go back to the Grooming department pre-shave. I'm really enjoying this pre-shave. Might be my favorite. I have to put up against the A and E one. That's a really good one. Yeah, we'll use this much. I found that I, I, I it's better if I rub it on my hand. Because if I put it on my face, it kind of just doesn't spread out well. Yeah. Good stuff, guys. How your shaves doing? Um, I don't know, I'm kind of moved to use like something complex, complex scent. And um, yeah, I haven't used APR in a while. The splash is really hard to get. I managed to get it. Um, hold on, let me fix this. There you go. I did manage to get the splash of a buddy of mine named uh, Simon. You might refer to him as Zen Shaves. I'll link him in the description below. Very cool dude. Very nice. But yeah. Alright, I think this pre-shave is activated. It should be. Uh, Mo recommends that you don't apply too much water and drown it out because you want to kind of create like a thicker layer, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> but it's crazy slick. I'll give you that. Can't deny that. All right, let's get into it. Fantastic scent. Um, I don't think Ken was a fan of this one because uh, we got ours at the same time. But uh, I got this and I enjoy it. The, this is another complex scent. Um, so with, since this is complex, I'm not gonna pick up everything. <laughs> Probably only gonna pick up like three or four. Um, my nose is, can pick up certain things, but it's not trained like that <laughs> on that level. Um, and the reason I can pick up things is just like, just cause I use a lot of soaps and I find similarities, but when they're blended, I guess it's harder for me to pick up things, especially when they're blended well. I'm just gonna spray water into the brush here. Yeah, so anyway, anyways, the scent notes are Whiskey, leather, papyrus, suede, heliotrope, plum, tobacco flower, tobacco, benzoin, labdanum, vanilla, musk, what else? Patchouli and tuberose. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna pretend like I know everything that's in there, <laughs> like I can pick up everything. But here's what I do smell. I get the vanilla. I get the musk. Um, I, yeah, I'd say I get the patchouli. I don't really get the leather. Yeah, barely. I get the whiskey. But uh, he also uses whiskey in another scent called Raconteur, which I uh, like. I have. Um, 
which is also leathery. This has leather in it, but I don't really pick up the leather that much. Uh, it's just different. This is more brighter, sweeter. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of, uh, Raconteur is like more leathery, whiskey vibe. I kind of prefer GLS over it, Gratiot League. Um, but I still enjoy that one. This one's like just super unique. Like those are two are in the same little house, but this is like super unique and I wish I could describe it better, but I really can't. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems like a pretty dense lather. I could probably keep working this. I was gonna use another uh, soap today. I was gonna use K2, Kaizen 2. Unfortunately, I received a fragrance reaction. Uh, so both the soap and the splash burned me really bad. So unfortunately, um, I guess I'm gonna have to let that one go. I was really excited to use it, but it's all good. Uh, went some, you lose some. Um, I guess that's two in one week. Sorry about that. Um, got cut off. But yeah, we're pretty much lathered, ready to go. Um, yeah, pretty slick. All right. I didn't want to overhydrate it, make it too thin. Oh yeah, for the razor, we're gonna be going with the Paradigm Titanium 2. It's been a while since I used this. Got some nice chevrons in here. Polishing is pretty great. Um, not as good as Wolfman, but it's also, I guess, cheaper, assuming it's the same material. Um, yeah, is the, the diamond back is cheaper. Um, I'm using a fresh feather, which I don't normally use on about a day's growth. This freezer has, I'm getting some redness. I'm, uh, this freezer has very little blade feel. Very smooth. I believe it's only 62 grams. Yeah. Anyways, I yeah, I do enjoy the scent. Um Um, I mean, it doesn't like blow me away, but it's unique enough that I really appreciate it. It's nice. Um, it's kind of it's kind of unfortunate that um, uh, due to lack of materials and the fact that he lives in Australia, kind of makes his soaps hard to get. But um, we didn't get a nick here. Uh, but he does do drops, you know, you just gotta like keep an eye out uh, sort of thing uh, Like it's like it is get like you can get it. It's just you gotta be willing to wait for it. I know uh, Simon enjoys uh, APR very much Zinc Sheaves Corey uh, From um, Shaving with Chief I think that's his favorite uh, artisan because of the sense. Damn, Adam's apple. Adam's apple got me. I felt it, but it didn't hurt. <laughs> Not bad, first pass. Decent, decent. Um, yeah. I don't know how much water this. So it could take, I don't want to drain it out, but whatever, see how it goes. The Samurai looks really cool. Believe it or not, it's not the most comfortable to hold, but I mean, it kind of feels natural after a while. Um, not as very soft. Softer than my other paladins. 
So I won the Badger Lottery when it came to Paladin. <laughs> there you go. I want to have a soft knot like this. I could kind of lather more comfortably the way I want, which is what you see now me working it. Um, on a scritchy or not, I couldn't do that. Mm. Solid. Yeah, the scent really opens up. If you guys ever get a soap where, I noticed this too with uh, Barrister and Man scents. If you guys ever get a scent, you buy it, you get it, and then you absolutely hate it off the puck. I highly recommend you lather that soap because the scent notes will really open up once you uh, uh, actually lather it. You like all the other notes start to come out, which is not always the case, but I, I noticed that a lot with Barrister and Man. This one, I feel like I noticed it too because just so many scent notes. Very smooth DE. A lot of the channels do a pretty good, decent job there. Yeah. yeah, you can't, you can barely feel the blade on this, but despite that, it's got a decent efficiency. Not as much as the WR2, but it's also easier to use, has less bleed feel, so it's a good trade-off. Yeah, but kind of unfortunate. Um, I really want to use that K2, but um, we'll see. Maybe I'll just get a future release or take a break. We'll see. Yeah. Um, Pretty good. I did. Ooh, we got another cut. Wasn't careful. Yeah, like this. This razor is pretty sleepy with the with the efficiency. I'd say it's a sleeper. You think it's mild because it doesn't because it feels mild, but it doesn't behave that way. But yeah, uh, excellent scent. Um. It's so weird. Um, yeah, I definitely get the whiskey. It seems like Dan likes to use whiskey. <laughs> um, but it's nice. I don't know. Like, is it good enough for me to track down the EDT? Probably not. But I enjoy it. I think I've gotten to the point where if I don't really like the scent, I guess I let it go because um, I'll just never reach for it unless I really like using that base. <sighs> yeah. Just feeling here. Let me do a quick rinse. Pretty much done. Just finishing up. Despite the two nicks, I don't really have any irritation. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that uh, base is not crazy slick, but it gets the job done. The scent is really where it shines. Um, yeah, so I definitely get the vanilla, the musk. I wish I could spot out benzoin in a scent, but I feel like every scent I've tried with benzoin in it, I tend to enjoy, but I wish I could single it out, but I just can't. Um, yeah, you get the whiskey, very little leather. It's, it's very interesting. It's like bright, but it has like darker notes. Like the plum, I get that. Yeah, and I'm just kind of, 
Yeah, it's just so complex. Um, kind of reminds me of Chatillon Lux or uh, Will uses a lot of notes. I don't know. Sri, kind of, sometimes. <laughs> Not as much as that, though. But yeah. Um, yeah, so it doesn't feel like... My skin feels a little dry. Feels like... Yeah, it doesn't feel like I applied a bomb to my face like I would like with Sago or something. Uh, like the Sago, uh, Sago base. So, but we do have the Matching Splash, which has denatured alcohol, witch hazel, aloe leaf extract, chamomile flower, calendula flower extract, and glycerin fragrance. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. So, actually what I'm gonna do before I do that, I'm gonna apply some Declaration Grooming Menthol Drops, cause why not get a little chill? I'm gonna put three drops because if I put too much, I feel like I'll put four. I feel like it will interfere with the scent, um, personally. It's enough, right? <laughs> Ooh, wow. Whew, you definitely get the alcohol burn. Ooh, this reminds me of PAA, Phoenix. Get the alcohol content, but when you have high alcohol content, it allows for the fragrance to last longer. Ooh. Yo, that burns. It's the menthol. <laughs> it's not the, it's not, uh, yeah. And it's the menthol. Whew. I haven't used menthol in a while, guys. Whew. Yeah. So I I thought it was the alcohol, but yeah, that's menthol. But yeah, we got a BBS shave. Uh, T2 did a great job other than those two nicks, but uh, I'm not really used to this razor. I have to use it more. Um, Fenchurch, fantastic scent. If you see it on BST, I definitely recommend it. I think you'd like it. The splash smells even better than the soap. And then we use the Paladin Samurai. Um, and that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll probably use another unobtainium soap tomorrow just because, uh, I don't know, I'm in the mood. And uh, I've just been using new releases lately. So I want to cycle through the rest of my den. Um, but yeah, doesn't matter how old it is, uh, you can still enjoy it. I think this came out in 2019. Yeah, not too old. But uh, awesome stuff, guys. Uh, catch you guys in the next one.